care of all the rest of the questions. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, would you like to tell us your views and opinions? It doesn't really matter what the question is. Thank you. I picked a question and I'm not even turning it over. <laughs> I've got two Areas I'd like to cover, so please put five to seven minutes on. <laughs> One is, most people have no idea how much they're actually paying in taxes. Gary gave a list of some of the direct taxes we pay, and Jim's definition included a lot of other terms used for taxes. But virtually every dollar you spend somehow contributes to taxes. Buy food at the grocery store? There was a farmer who probably had employees who, for whom he had to pay payroll taxes. That's built into the price of the food. It was transported to the warehouse. The trucking industry had to pay tax, excise taxes for the trucks, payroll taxes for the drivers. And the warehouse, of course, had to hire people and then ship also them to the retail store and there are taxes paid all along the way, and all of that is built into the price of the food. So almost everything you buy, not just food, but anything and everything, has an assessment of taxes. That's probably close to half of the dollars you spend. The other subject I want to talk about is the national debt. Now the states go into debt too, but they do so usually by selling bonds, things like of that nature. The national debt is somewhere, is where we are assessed taxes and other fees and fines and so forth, but who benefits most from that? The Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is a private corporation with 12 stockholders that we pay just less than 200 billion dollars a year in interest on this debt too. Wouldn't you like to have that job? And it is their, in their interest to make sure we always owe more. So keep that in mind when you're voting for your Congress people next. Mr. Topic Master. Thank you, Jim. 